The first book that I read, uh, going back to being a little dyslexic, um, first book that I read took me, I know how long it took me because my parents um, um, rented a house on a lake up in New Hampshire and they had a, um, they had a little library there. It was Jules Verne's Mysterious Island. And it took me the month to read the book. But it was a book that was of tremendous impact on me. Yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know very quickly, it's about a bunch of guys during the Civil War and they escape from a, from a southern prisoner or war camp into a balloon and then they get taken out, you know, who knows, into the Pacific or wherever it is, and they land on a mysterious island. Well, what was so extraordinary to me is that they could look at a, a hillside and go, there's iron ore in that ill hillside. We'll be able to make tools. I went, oh my God, I, I want to be like that, to know that type of stuff. So I began to live vicariously through that type of person. And the next, the next obvious, at least for me, obvious thing was the, um, the early explorers. The, you know, the Magellans and, you know, on and on and on. And so for me, sailing has always been kind of an exploration. It also is an opportunity to get out of my head, which is not often, a, 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 not necessarily a nice place to be, be all the time. So when you are sailing, you are constantly creating what ifs. You know, what if the, uh, you know, what if the engine poops out right as I'm going through this inlet here? Do, you know, what would, what would I do? You create a whole series of what ifs. What, what, what if the, you know, I, I lost the anchor and, you know, a, a whole th series like that. And I love it. I just, I just love it. I, I, I ended up, um, sailing my boat from, um, Ventura, California to the Marqueses, um, to the tu Tuamotos, which is the one of the, the largest coral archipelago in the world, um, then to Tahiti, the Society Islands, and 52 days back. Um, and um, uh, I, I discovered in the process that I actually enjoyed far more being at sea than I did being in those places. Um, so, uh, and, and to this day, I still sail, yeah.